Hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And this is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know as Heart Divine. So if you're new to my channel, know that I do monthly intuitive forecast love readings and astrology videos just like this one. And if this is something that you are interested in, please do consider subscribing. Now, before I begin the reading for you Capricorn people out there, let's first talk about the general atmosphere of the month of October 2020. Now, technically, it is actually a very good month. Um, it is a month wherein, you know, we are at that breaking point of actually moving forward with things. We are still going to feel a lot reflective because of the retrograde energy of Mars and with this month, we also have the Mercury retrograde going to be happening quite soon in, a, in the next few days, possibly as I upload this video. And um, uh, it's going to be around the middle of uh, October um, here or so. So um, there is a very much a, a reflective energy, but at the same time, you know, there could be certain events that might be transpiring in our life that will um, make us act. Do in this time, this is not just about you acting just upon impulse, though that might play a role of, of its own, right? And I just kind of feel that you know the actions that we take right now, you know, it 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 is telling us that we have already learned the lessons of the past. We have already learned everything that we we need to learn. And this time, whether you are ready or not, you know, we need to take action and we need to grab hold of opportunities that comes aligned with us. So that is actually the general atmosphere of the month. Though because of certain alignments in the sky, there are sudden surprises, sudden changes, and abruptions that we might experience as a whole. So for people that are not so flexible with certain things, that can be very much frustrating and, you know, it can create a lot of drama in their life. But um, as long as you are, you know, having the awareness that, hey, something is going to happen, you know, I will find out something, you know, it's more of a shift of mindset, you know, then things can actually pan out in a way wherein you can find some form of productivity um, from the events that might unfold. So, um, yeah, so let's now get into the reading for those of you guys in the sign of Capricorn. Again, this is a general reading, so please do know that this is not for everyone, not for each and every Capricorn people out there. Um, so just keep that in mind. And not because the cards are negative, we'll always say a negative atmosphere. So I just want to make that clear. And with this reading, I'm just going gonna go with my intuition as we go along so let's see what the message are going to be uh, presented to us now the first card over here is actually the eight of pentacles which is about work so this could be a situation wherein you know you, you might be in a situation wherein you are wanting some form of improvement in the relationship or you know you are you know working on a relationship it really depends but i see this as a positive element that you know maybe you are wanting to move forward with things in the relationship this is all about effort all at the same time it could be you are wanting to make effort or wanting some form of harmony in the relationship is pos is possibility during this time now we have here the chariot card which is a very wonderful card it's all about moving forward it's all about um, travel and you know moving into new horizons it could be that you are in a situation right now wherein you are you know wanting to enter a new chapter of the relationship entering a new commitment phase in the relationship or if you are single you might be wanting to make some form of effort to be with someone you know those kinds of energies in place you don't want to do things in a very solo way maybe or it could be that you know there is someone um, that comes into your life this is the night 
of sorts, you know, someone suddenly entering your life that, you know, triggers for things to flow in the relationship, you know. This is basically telling us that something is happening in the relationship or some form of movement, travel is in the air for the relationship. It could be quite sudden though. Just do know that this uh, person can have a very unpredictable nature, you know. So this, we can actually um, say that if the relationship has been quite stable um, for quite some time in the relationship, you might actually experience some form of, you know, upsets or surprises in the relationship, you know. Uh, you know. So there could be ever so changing things going on in the relationship situation or you know it could be having to do with communication or how the two of you communicate is not really very happening in a very consistent way is also a possibility this can also be a situation wherein someone is trying to voice something in the relationship like maybe they want things to to progress in the relationship and trying to I'm not saying trying to control the situation, but, you know, it's like demanding someone that this should be happening in the relationship and all of those kind of stuff. If that is being um, um, accepted by the other person, you know, that can create um, positive influences. And if not, that might create, you know, some form of friction and frustration, which you might need to deal with. So it happens in a vice versa kind of way. So just keep that in mind. We do have here the king of wands. So this can add to the, um, the features of this person. It could be a person that is quite adventurous. So I would say that this can be a situation of uh, a per someone in the relationship wanting to settle down, but they're actually dealing with someone which is, you know, <laughs> very adventurous and more on um, enjoying things in the present moment even though that they are having a mature energy there is a situation wherein they just want they don't want other people to tell them what to do basically that form of energy so um, the king of wands can also tell us as a very um innovative man could be entering your life or could be in the focus over here if you're a woman you know you might be dealing with someone who's very um, outspoken all at the same time so i would say that you know maybe you're wanting some form of progress in the relationship and you're dealing with someone who doesn't want to make plans so that is a, a possible a huge possibility in its own right so we do have here the death card. Now, technically, and in a very general atmosphere, this is seen in a very negative way. However, it is generally a card of rebirth and transformation. So it could be that a relationship needs to transform, you know. You cannot go um, in a relationship that is in circles anymore, you know. It's not about having fun and enjoying life. You do want some form of security. You do want to have a goal into the relationship. So if you want to settle down, have, um, you know, if you want marriage, for example, um, I'm not really seeing marriage over here. The reason that I bring up marriage is like it's just a big sample of having a goal into a relationship. Are you being in a relationship for the fun of it? Or are you being in a relationship because you want to get married eventually? So, you know, maybe there is someone, one of you in the relationship. It could be you. It could be the other person in the relationship wants for some form of progression and a goal that needs some form of achievement in the relationship and one of you guys are you know not thinking of that you know so there is a clash of mindset that can be a focal point in the situation and you know this can be a situation that needs some form of change and transformation this can also occur wherein you know you might feel that you need to um, something needs to happen in the relationship you know some form of old situation needs to die down, you know. Um, I don't know. Some form of maturity needs to happen. When it comes to the death card, though, it always a trigger point for new beginnings and endings of the same time. So it's a very transformational card. 
with the nine of swords over here now I'm getting ahead of myself but um, Basically, all of this has an energy of its own. So it's basically giving us an idea that, you know, there are worries surrounding that. You know, there are worries and fears surrounding this energy. So you might be fearing on what kind of change might occur if you try to pursue things, you know, the way that you want. And it could be a situation wherein, you know, there are worries in the relationship that might present itself to you as a big possibility this month of October. So um, let's get into the reading. We do have here the Four of Wands, which is all about you know personal alliances, um, the connection that we have with our partner, the harmonious atmosphere. You know, this is what we want. For some people, this can be you know a, co a solid commitment. You know, living in together, marriage of some kind. It's creating a family, as well. So we do have here the King of Pentacles, you know. So there is a possibility. We do have actually a lot of male energy here. So um, it gives you an energy wherein, you know, you are wanting someone who is much more secure, much more, you know, it is a person that can give you stability and security in life that is what you want and this is the relationship that you want and you want someone capable of giving you that so you know that is the form of energy here we do have here the magician card you know this is your intention and energy that you want to manifest as a whole so there is really a possibility that you might voice out what you feel and what you think about the situation as well with the two of pentacles here there is you know um maybe two sides of the story that might be presenting itself it could be your own worries you know what is the good side of what uh, of how things might occur if you try to push what you feel and what you want into the situation so this could be a situation wherein you know something is in your mind um, when it comes into the relationship what the relationship is all about and all those kind of stuff this can also be, you know, maybe you need to put um, some form of boundaries in the relationship and you are struggling into that. So seeing the pros and cons into a situation can be um, something that comes into your mind. With the Nine of Swords over here, you know, this is really telling us that there could be worries or there could be, you know, um, something bothering you. Um, in the maybe it could be happening in a very personal level or in your personal life this is basically a card of worries and tears all at the same time so it makes me feel that you know it's not that something is going to happen in your life it's more of you are fearful of the change that might occur though there is also a possibility that may be something surprising you know i did mention this earlier something surprising or sudden changes might occur into the relationship maybe it is something that you want to happen or it may be something that you are fearful that might happen so you know it is quite of a, a wild card and unpredictable card in nature but I kind of feel that you know one way or another you know that whatever change that has to happen in the relationship needs to happen it's just that you know you don't know where things are gonna go this can be also a situation wherein you are wanting to push yourself you are wanting some form of results in a in a relationship or in a situation there is something that uh, some form of goal that you want and you want it now however um this could be a situation where it's telling you that now is not the time like you might get a bits and pieces of information or opportunities that present itself to you but it doesn't mean that you have to do it here and now you know um, there could be like you know uh, it's like bits and pieces of the puzzle are slowly fitting into the picture but it doesn't mean that you have the clear picture of the whole scenario as well it could also be that you know you might 
um, have some form of awareness on where the relationship is leading. And um, depending on how you see things, this might create some form of difficulty for you um, from time to time. I do know that you might experience some form of irritation and, you know, something is slow, something makes you feel trapped. But I really... Um, on a very intuitive level, I kind of feel that this is something that you need to overcome. Um, there is some form of, you know, sharing things out. You need to, to communicate and talk to the person a very, in a very solo way. You know, heart-to-heart -heart talk um, should be something that you experience. It's not just about you voicing things out. Um, you need to see things, you know, how the other person thinks, how the other person feel before you make certain judgment all at the same time. So um, I would say that, you know, don't shoot the messenger, but I really feel that this could be a very challenging time when it comes to relationships. Um, it's not about giving up into the relationship. It's more of the fact that you're trying to voice something out and it's not happening in the way that you desire and the way that you are hoping for but it doesn't mean that all hope is lost it's just that you need to just cope up with the situation wherein you know there are just certain things right now that you cannot have at this time so you might need to battle on that or you might need to reflect on certain things and make um, certain decisions with that um, let us see uh, what is the uh, confirmation message that we might have for this with, with our Lenormand card. The first card is the ship, which is all about movement, travel, and all those kind of wonderful energy. And we do have here the birds. Um, and this is more of uh, telling us that you might be... Um, talking to someone about your hopes and dreams you know maybe you are going to be expressing this to your partner the birds is technically technically talking about about talking communicating and all of that the next card that we have over here is the mountain which is a problem or a blockage so so remember we are talking about your hopes and dreams maybe for the relationship maybe for the future and then there is a blockage right here or some form of delays that might come. With this though, uh, with the crossroad, this is like, uh, in most cases, this is like a split. But at the same time, it's telling us, telling us about two things, maybe two roads, two decisions, two, two minds, you know. You might be thinking of plan A and your person or the other person, your partner, is thinking about another uh, point of view, is going to plan B. So there could be a struggle right there. With the birds and the crossroad over here, this is a situation wherein you might not be seeing eye to eye with a particular person, you know. So you might be clashing with someone. Um, even at this time so that can be creating a lot of um, difficult energies as well so that can create some form of uh, problem or you know emotional um, explosions if you would ask me so there are some form of difficult energy right there so we do also have here the fox which is another difficult card uh, that we have you know Technically, the fox is all about, you know, um, the energy for sneakiness, you know, trying to, um, it's like a very smart, smart foxes, you know, they're very cunning and sneaky. So you might, um, when I see it that way, this is my, this might be a situation where, and, you know, there is no outcome to whatever it is that you want. So it's like everything goes in a standstill moment, you know. Um, there is no uh, compromise that might occur. Though even though that, you know, you are desiring for something significant, it could be that, you know, you there could be clashes that might happen over um, your own beliefs, you know, different belief system. And there is no concrete results with that. 
there is no um, answers that might be given to you. Um, it doesn't mean that all is lost. It's just that, you know, this is just the basic energy for the month. So this is not the time for you to make impulsive decisions that, okay, you cannot give me what you want. So I'm going to end things. So this is not about that. This is about you just trying to calm yourself down. Um, maybe it's just the energy for the month of October, right? You know, uh, I would say that try to avoid um, emotional reactions, you know, even though that is something that you cannot avoid. Technically, I just kind of feel that, you know, try to um, avoid making long standing or, you know, lifelong decisions when it comes to relationships, especially during a time where in your emotions is being triggered strongly. So especially when we do have, you know, Mars retrograde and Mercury retrograde going to be a major highlight for the month. This is not the time for you to create certain action. It's okay to voice out your own opinion. It's okay to voice out what you feel, but it's not um, entirely and necessarily okay to suddenly uh, make the decision that can give the overall outcome of a certain situation or relationship. So try to think about things um, before making any certain decision. So I would say time to chill out, okay? Voice your, your opinion, but don't make conclusions with that, you know? Try to calm down as well so just keep in mind that you know this might be um not a very harmonious time you know this is not a time wherein all your wishes will be granted definitely so you might need to take your time to 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 create sharing of discussions heart-to-heart -heart talk and all of that and try to um to work on uh, with whatever problems that you have in the relationship. This is not about creating a final period or exclamation point into a situation. So just keep that in mind. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you Capricorn people out there. And if you need a personal reading or that is in-depth, detailed, and specifically done for you and your situation, you can do that by booking a session with me for my website, in the stars by Chrissy.com. And with this, I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.